Welcome back to Travel Tip Tuesday with the Travel Mug Podcast. So, as you know, we love coffee here at the Travel Mug Podcast. And a few weeks ago, Final Press reached out and sent me their travel friendly, multifunctional coffee and tea maker to review. So, it came just in time for me to travel to my mom's place in Cape Breton, where she only has one of those pod coffee makers, which are not my favorite coffee. So this was a great chance for me to try out the final press. So I packed some of my ground coffee beans from home that we use every day. And then all you need is hot water to make a cup of coffee. So for those of you watching on YouTube, I have it right here. So it comes with this cover that uh, keeps it clean. And this is what it looks like. So it's basically a basket with like a plunger on top. So you put your coffee in the basket part and uh, put the plunger part back on and then put it in the mug and pour water over it. And then you just kind of like swirl swirl it around, let it steep, and then use the plunger part to get all of the delicious coffee flavor out. So you can also use loose leaf tea leaves in the basket. And there's an option to make a cold brew. So it does come with this lid that goes on a mason jar. So you can let it steep overnight in a mason jar. So I would say there's a lot of pros and a few cons, so I'm going to go over those. So pros, it is super small. Like you can see, it's really easy to travel with and like throw in a bag in a backpack. It's also pretty easy to clean and just like dump out the coffee, rinse it out, like put it in hot soapy water, like washing dishes. And it does come with the travel cover. Like I said, I feel like it would be really great for camping because you don't necessarily have electricity so heating up your water and then just pouring it over this I also really like that it's pretty much zero waste of course you have the coffee grounds but unlike pods you don't have plastic so the few cons that I've noticed they've used this probably six to eight times you do get some silt in the bottom of your cup they recommend using a coarse grind which we, we have our own coffee grinder, so we can adjust the, the coarseness, so definitely use a coarser grind. It's hard to impossible to make a large cup of coffee thanks to the amount of grounds you can put in it. And then, of course, this takes up space in the cup, so when you lift it out of the cup, it, yeah, <laughs> it makes your cup not full, which is fine if you're someone who wants to put in you know, milk or creamer, but I drink my coffee black. It can also be on the weaker side if you have too much water to coffee ratio. So I feel like it takes some uh, experimenting to get it the way you want it. Megan, does a gadget like this interest you for travel? I mean, I think it would in certain situations. Um, I I wanted to mention to you the silt at the bottom. That also happens with a French press. So that's sort of, I think, any sure. type of gadget where you're sort of applying that pressure, it sort of happens that way. So honestly, that makes a lot of sense. I could also see how the coffee would be less because the gadget is in the coffee cup. So it makes sense that once you pull yeah. that out, it, it's a little less coffee. So that that that's understandable. And yeah, I mean, I think it, however... I think coffee in a pinch is is better than no coffee. So I think that it it definitely would have its value and have its uses. And I like that it's more environmentally friendly while only having the coffee grounds left over. So definitely. Yeah, it definitely. I wouldn't use it every day. I think it's great for what it is, a compact travel coffee maker. I will continue to bring it to places like my mom's place when I know I'm not going to have access to my preferred coffee. <laughs> And I'll throw it in my bag when we travel. I also love checking out local coffee shops, so I'm not going to use it every day when I'm traveling. But like you said, this is better than no coffee at all. (laughs) If you are interested in trying out a final press, we do have a 10% off affiliate code for you. It's Travel Mug Podcast, all one word. I'll put that in the show notes. Our affiliate link is also in the show notes. 
Thank you so much for tuning in to this Travel Tip Tuesday. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube at Travel Mug Podcast. We'd also love it if you left us a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify uh, and or share the show with a travel-loving pal and we'll chat with you again soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.